Hi there. Now for this question then, we were told to find the two position vectors of the point B. And you can see the answers are 2 naught 11, or you could have 10 minus 4 minus 5. You need both these answers, by the way. Now, this is quite a tricky question, I feel, and one that the only way to do it is to draw a sketch. And you can see that what I've done is I've sketched the line L1, and we've got the origin here. Now we know that the point X lies on L1. In the previous part, we found out that it was given by the position vector 4, minus 1, 7. And now we've got this point A on the line L1 with position vector 6, minus 2, 3. And we're told that AB equals twice AX. So I've just got AX here, let's say. And so if AB is twice AX, then you could see that B could be at this position, for instance, which I've called B1, just by doubling this distance here would give me the distance AB. But B could be on the other side of A, okay? I've called it B2. So we've got that this length here, A to B2, is twice this length here, AX. So I'm out to find out then the position vector of B1 and B2. These are possible positions for B. And what I've done is I found out what the vector AX is first of all. AX will be O to X minus O to A, a standard result, okay? And then by subtracting the two position vectors gives me AX as minus 2, 1, 4. And then I know that to get to, let's say, this B here, B1, what I do is I go from the origin up to A, and then I do twice AX. So therefore OB would be OA plus twice AX. That would get me to B1. Or if I'm to get to B2, it would be OA minus twice the vector of AX. I'm going in the opposite direction, but two steps back. Okay, so we've got the OB equals OA minus 2AX. So putting those vectors in, and if you do plus 2 times this vector and add it to this vector here, you find you get 2 naught 11. And if you do the minus 2 option, 6 minus 2, 3 minus twice this vector gives you 10 minus 4 minus 5. Okay, so that's basically how you go about that question. Now, this diagram here doesn't have to be accurate, okay? I don't really know the relative positions of A and X, but it does allow us to be able to establish this concept here, okay? So that, in my opinion, is the key to this particular problem.